Auntie Ronta has been waived by the Carolina Hurricanes. What does this mean? No, for real though. What, what does this mean? I'm not going to lie. I'm not too familiar with the hockey front office world. But from what I've heard, this is so if Ronta clears waivers, he could be sent down. But then his salary still counts towards our cap, which is not good. But I also heard from someone else that Ronta likely will be claimed probably by a rebuilding team. Maybe to leverage more money, like we'll take off the cap and then, you know, just give us more of a return. Or maybe they'll just take him just to take him. Because you can just take him now, right? You, he, I, I don't know how waivers work. We don't really have that. Like, it's not that prominent in baseball. It happens, but it's like not. You just get released usually. Um, but I'm going to go through this under the assumption that he's gone. I wanted Ronta gone, but I guess I should have been a little more careful with what I was wishing for. Because... I feel like this was a bad move, actually. Letting go of Auntie Ronta itself was not a bad move. I needed him gone. But I feel like doing that right now, like, I wanted us to trade for a goalie first. Like, this, all this does for me is tell the whole hockey world that we, we're we desperate. Because now what? We have a game tomorrow. Could Chekhov's probably going to play. And then we have a break on Monday, I think. And then Tuesday, we play the Golden Knights. Kochetkov could probably play that, but the second we have a back-to-back, it, we're going to need a second goalie, and we just waived ours. So, don't get me wrong, I don't want Auntie Ronta out there. He, I feel bad. You know, I, I get I'm in, asympathetic sometimes, especially in the baseball world, but he was not up to par with a Stanley Cup contending team. But neither is the dude we're calling up. The dude we're calling up, if we don't get a goalie, apparently, he's from the ECHL, which is like, from what I'm hearing, it's the NHL, AHL, and the ECHL, which arguably is worse than the NCAA. So imagine, like, imagine if the if the Hurricanes, or not the Hurricanes, imagine if the Astros are playing the Dodgers, and they called up some D1 pitcher to pitch that game. Like, it's just, come on. Like, I don't know. So, I feel like this makes it harder to trade for a goalie now. Because now teams are like, well, we know you're, you just waived your second guy. And we know he was bad, but like, you're, you're, you're going to either make this trade or you're going to use some dude from the college level, which... It's not ideal on any front. You don't want to tell other teams that you need to make a trade. You never want to do that. You got to be like, you know, I could do this or I can't. And also, Piotr Kochetkov, I love him, but he's not a number one goalie. We still need to make a trade for a number one goalie. Like, Kochetkov has had a really nice two games recently, but he had a pretty, really bad few games before that. So... He's still a number two goalie. We need a number one goalie. I'm thinking maybe Jake Allen. I like that he has a year after this year until he's a free agent. Of course, I still want Carter Hart, but with him being a restricted free agent, maybe that's going to be too pricey. Um, And the Flyers have a playoff spot right now. Um, Sam Montebalt, I think that's how you say his name. Um, He's also from the Canadians. He's a little bit better than Jake Allen, but... He just signed a three year, so that's going to be pretty expensive of a return. And he almost allowed a four goal comeback tonight to the Islanders. So, you know, maybe hold off on that. Um, I thought the Sharks goalies were bad, honestly. Um, But the last I checked their stats, it was like before the Sharks kind of went on this hot streak. And Kapo Kakanen, I don't like that he's. A free agent after this year. Because then that would just put us back in the same position. Assuming Freddie Anderson is not playing anymore. With Kochetkov at 1 next year. So I don't. I don't like the contract of that. But it's also lower caps. Um, cap space. So he's. I think he's a better fit. I would, I would like that trade actually. I think. 
Kakadu's numbers have looked really, really good recently, especially. So that's kind of who I'm leaning towards now. I'm kind of off the Carter Hart wagon. I need to change my username on TikTok, but I made that change less than seven days ago, so I have to wait. And um, if we can't, let's go for Jake Allen. I like Jake Allen as well. And then Carter Hart's our third option, I'd say. But again, this the whole moving Ronta early thing, it's like we're telling teams we need to make a trade, and we do need to make a trade. But we made it that times more obvious, which I don't like. 